All right, so I'm a few days late on this review, but that's okay. Because sometimes a movie come out that's so good that you just got to say something about it. So for those of you who've seen it, bear with me. I'll be done soon enough. And for the unlucky few who haven't, I guess this one's for you. Today I'll be reviewing Deadpool. Deadpool is the newest installation in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and to give you a brief backstory about Deadpool, it follows the character Wade Wilson, who was a normal guy who had a troubled childhood growing up, and one day he's diagnosed with a terminal form of cancer, and the only way to survive is he subjects himself to this mutant camp where they basically try to unlock a normal person's inner mutant abilities. Well, after being tortured and tested, he does unlock his inner abilities, but on the flip side of that, he, his cancer spreads so quickly throughout his body that it destroys his physical appearance and makes him grotesque and hideous. The abilities that Wade gains are accelerated regeneration, enhanced agility, and he's also an expert marksman and an expert swordsman. Now, as far as the movie goes, it takes place when Wade is an adult and he's like a mini merc for hire, I guess you could say. He even says at one point in the movie that I'm a bad guy looking for badder guys. Now, one day when Wade is at the bar for bad guys, um, I guess it's like a hangout where all the criminals and thugs and the mini mercs go. It kind of puts you in the mind of if you've seen John Wick, the hotel that all the criminals congregated at. It's like that, but on a much smaller scale. One day while Wade was at this bar, he meets this chick, Vanessa. And, of course, they become an item and they fall in love. Now, the way the movie shoots this is great in my opinion because you know they build this love this deep deep love connection between the two but they do it through a quick series of very intimate yet very adult yet very comical scenes by the end you can tell that these two are just perfect for each other and i think that was brilliant but as all good things go as soon as everything was all sunshine and rainbow wade passes out and then he finds out he has the cancer and then he goes to the mutant camp and boom Deadpool now at this point the movie transitions from a love story into more of like a action hate story because Deadpool is just hell bent on finding the guy that did this to his face and wreaking havoc on him and with that being said the action in here is amazing it is amazing it was shot well, directed well it looks well everything about it was great now the action is a little gruesome and the movie does have a rated R rating and that's for more than just the action but we'll get to that in a minute but the action is bloody and gory so if you're thinking about taking a minor I probably wouldn't now I know I said that it transitions from a love story to an action story but that's not exactly true because the way the movie is shot it actually jumps back and forth from when he's Wade to when he's Deadpool from when he's in love with Vanessa to when he's kicking ass excuse the language so I think that the way they shot it was amazing because with them doing it like that it keeps the viewers engaged and and there's not really a dead moment and the pace of the movie never slows down too far Ryan Reynolds as Deadpool is awesome this is his redemption this is his Marvel rebirth because we all know how the Deadpool from the X-Men movie went Ugh. and we also know that the Green Lantern was okay at best but he is Deadpool reincarnate. This is probably the best comic book to screen translation I've seen by far. I couldn't think of anyone better. Not only did Ryan kill it, I think that his girlfriend Vanessa did great. Um, the girl who played Super Mega Sonic Teenage Warhead, I think that's the name. I'm pretty sure I messed it up. But she was good as a young adolescent, serious yet how today's generation of teens are translation to the screen and uh, even like Colossus he was great he had a little relief he was the hero of heroes because we all know Deadpool's not a hero now to move on to the script the script was perfect I couldn't think of nothing different I would have done Ryan Reynolds and TJ Miller did an amazing job I mean between the high paced action and the revenge and the great connection between Wade and Vanessa the script kept you engaged they kept throwing joke after joke after joke at you and they were some very very mature dark jokes so again rated R so careful about taking minors but the script was perfect I mean the movie didn't just have to be slamming your face fast paced because they threw in so many great jokes and so much humor that it kept you entertained even when it was kind of a dull moment now to bring it home i think the movie was great it was fun it was entertaining it was exciting it was funny as hell 
And Ryan Reynolds' Deadpool was fantastic. He did for Deadpool what I think, in my opinion, Robert Downey Jr. did for Iron Man, what Hugh Jackman did for Wolverine. That's just how good he was. And the movie knew exactly what it was, and it didn't go for more, and I love that. So if I had to sum up Deadpool in one word, I would say it is legendary. That about does it for this review, so let me know in the comment section below whether you liked it or whether you hated it. But if you liked it and you thought this video rocked, like and subscribe below to see more from me, Mike Proc.